Mammoth Mountain in California is getting a mammoth amount of snow this ski season, shattering an all-time record. And the season won't end until at least July. It's the same story at many other ski areas in the West, including in the Tahoe region, which is experiencing its snowiest season since the early 70s, pushing back closing dates for weeks. It's the atmospheric rivers we've got, and they piled up one after the other this year. Most of them were cold storms. Here at Jackson Hole Mountain Resort in Wyoming, the snowfall easily surpassed the seasonal average, making for great conditions extending into this month. 588 inches fell this season, just shy of the record 593 inches measured in 2016 and 17. It's been amazing. We, we uh, are the beneficiary of some of the best uh, uh, snowfall in the Americas. This year's amazing season turned into amazing revenues for hotels like the Four Seasons Resort and Residences Jackson Hole, where we stayed for a special rate. The resort, which features a wealth of after ski spots, cozy rooms and year round pools, is the only one right at the base of the mountain. Stays are up as much as 8% this winter compared to pre-pandemic 2019. The moment we get quote unquote dumped on, uh, our availability goes from a lot to very little. As snow totals rose, so did the prices of lift tickets, hitting over $300 at Arizona's Snow Bowl in January. One way to avoid sticker shock is to consider lesser known resorts, like Snowy Range in Wyoming, where tickets start at $49, or the state's Sleeping Giant ski area, where you'll find tickets as low as $59. Jackson Hole has a program which reimburses airfare in exchange for money spent on activities that's likely to continue next season. Wendy Gillette, CBS News, Jackson Hole, Wyoming.